Henrico County's mission is to provide each and every student with a quality education that goes beyond mere academics. A learning experience that involves social sensitivity and civic responsibility. Whether it's elementary, middle, or high school, students get involved to better their community. No time is that more apparent than the holiday season when students, staff, and parents come together to help families all over the county. All of the food that comes in the Christmas Mother comes from Henrico County Schools and we are so appreciative of the fact that our students are so conscientious about neighbors in need. And we have gotten more food this year than we have ever gotten since my involvement probably the 15 plus years that I've been involved with Henrico Christmas Mother. Well, a little piece of trivia that a lot of people may not know is that the Henrico Christmas Mother program actually began with a Henrico County teacher asking her students to bring in canned goods to share with their neighbors in need. And 74 years later, HCPS is continuing that rich tradition of neighbors helping neighbors. Our largest group are our seniors, and I think there are about 600, maybe 680 families of the 1300 are our seniors uh, and, and maybe disabled adults. Our seniors have fixed incomes, and so we really try to just make sure that they get a good amount of food too. You can see the, the expressions on their face and the surprise look on their face when they can get something that they wasn't expecting to get. So I feel great about it. It's that time of the year that I look forward to. The success of the Christmas Mother program only works because of the generosity of our many schools. And although our students take giving seriously, that doesn't mean it can't be fun too. Like at Pocahontas Middle School, where they made donating cans and goods a March Madness-like competition between classes. Every teacher was put up against another teacher, so we tried to make it like as big of a competition as we could to get students motivated. We researched on the Virginia Food Bank to see what items that they were constantly in need of. Peanut butter was one of those items. So the first round, peanut butter was our big point item. It was worth 15 points. We also did canned meats. That was worth 10 points. The second round, we added cereal. That was worth 15 points. The third round, we added um, books to start our book donation. Those were um, worth 12 points. And then our last round, we added the hat, scarves, and gloves. So the more big ticket items you had, the higher the point value. <laughs> Freeman really takes this canned food drive seriously and we really like to help out those families in Enrico County in need. So we've been averaging around, I'd say, 15,000 to 20,000 every year cans. So huge numbers. One year we actually got 39,000 cans. Unfortunately, we have to store the cans somewhere before we actually drop them off. So every teacher has to store them in their classroom and some actually like to make can sculptures of things. One of our teachers, he has like over 4,000 cans, I think, and they make him a little throne every year where he, so out of cans, so it's, it's crazy. And we also get to go to the Christmas Mother Warehouse and like sort the cans and make posters and stuff, so it's pretty awesome. Well, it really is teamwork in every sense of the word. Um, it begins with our school counselors and our parent advocates identifying family that may have needs or economic challenges, getting the application information out to those families, our CNM crews. Um, working to gather all the collections at schools and dedicating time to make the deliveries to the warehouse. Um, we have our exceptional ed students who this year pre-sorted um, collections at the schools and that really teaches them um, work skills and how to be a part of our community and also benefits the Christmas mother with uh, time at the warehouse. So across the board it really is a team effort.
The holiday giving effort in our schools is impressive, but it is only one example of giving back. That spirit can be seen all year long in Henrico County Schools. From tutoring programs with students helping students, to neighborhood cleanup efforts, to clothing and book collections, to events designed to gain awareness on important issues, Henrico County students are committed to their community. It feels good to give back because we have so much. You know in your heart that you're helping somebody. If I were in someone's situation where I like can't feed my family, I would hope someone would do it for me. 